guys, I'm Richard Critic here, and today we're going to review. Hi guys, and I'm Richard Critic here, and today we're going to review and talk about Donkey Kong Country 3. And today we're going to review and talk about Donkey Kong. Hi guys again, and I'm Richard Critic here, and today we're going to review and talk about Donkey Kong Country 3. Hi guys again, and I'm Richard Critic here, and today we're going to review and talk about Donkey Kong Country 3. So Donkey Kong Country 3 is about where it's Dixie Kong, Erdo Cousin, Kitty Kong, and K. Rule's back for like the third time, and this time he's a mad scientist, Frank and K. Rule. Frank and so Frank and K. Rule does things and start doing world domination of the island, and it's to and it's up to Dixie Kong and Kitty Kong to stop it. So uh, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong has been kidnapped, and you have to save them. So Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong has been kidnapped, and you have to rescue Donkey Kong, and, and you have to save Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. King K. Rool has kidnapped Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, and you have to rescue Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. And so King K. Rool has kidnapped Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Blah blah. And so the game has really cool worlds, and the worlds are great to explore, and the worlds are really fun here. The worlds are great, and the worlds are fun, and the worlds are cool, and, and the worlds are amazing to go to, and the worlds are creative and unique. So the platforming is great. And you do have to get your golden bananas again, and the golden bananas you have to receive again this time. You have to receive again. Golden banana. So the platforming is great here. The platforming is really good here. The platforming of the game is really good here, and you do have to get the golden bananas again. The go and you have to get the and you have to receive the gold banana and and the gold bananas you have to receive again. You do have to receive the gold bananas again and all that shit here. So Dixie Kong has cool moves here. And I'll say she is cool here. And she has better moves from last time. And I feel like they improved here. And the characters have improved here too. And her moves have improved. And her moves are better. So Dixie Kong now is good. And she has good moves now. And she moves better. And she is fine. And she is okay. And I think she is alright. So the Kremlings in this game are mutants, and the Kremlings are mutants this time, and the fact that the Kremlings are mutants is a really cool idea, and the Kremlings are bland here this time, and I do think that the Kremlings are generic here. The Kremlings are actually cool here. Some of the Kremlings are really interesting here. A lot of them are actually, the Kremlings are actually pretty cool and nice, and some of the Kremlings are actually really interesting here. So the bosses in the game are average to say the least, and the bosses in this game, I will say, have their moments, and they are unique, and, and they are creative in this game, and that's all I gotta say. So the bosses are just okay, and some of the bosses are actually pretty cool here. And I'll admit the bosses are really cool here, and I'll admit some of them are pretty awesome. So now the final boss of the game, and it's a mad scientist K. Rule, freaking K. Rule. And the mad scientist K. Rule, freaking K. Rule is amazing here. And he is very cool here. So K. Rule as a was fun to fight, and he is very awesome here. And it was a good time, and he was a tough boss battle this time around. And he was a bit harder here, but either way, he was a good one to fight, and he was a good challenge to fight. And that's all I gotta say. Like, it was a really cool, fascinating, interesting boss battle. So you do collect golden coins and gold bananas again in this game. And even birds, you even collect the free birds, golden birds, you have to return to, like, this queen bird. So this queen bird helps you. And you collect golden bananas, golden coins, silver coins, birds, golden birds, like, little birds, you have to help them, these seagull birds, I guess. You free them, you gotta return to the queen bird, the queen bird helps you in the game. You gotta collect and free these seagulls. And they're queen bird, they're a uh, queen seagull. And this queen seagull, you kind of help her by retrieving the birds to her. And you gotta go to this, like, queen bird that, like, you gotta retrieve her birds to her and give her birds back to her. You gotta give her birds back to her. And you gotta help her with the items, and she you gotta give her items, and she gives you items back. And she helps you back, and that's kind of how it works, really. You gotta get these golden bananas, you gotta retrieve the golden bananas, you gotta find these golden bananas, you collect uh, golden coins, silver coins. You gotta, like, kind of get these golden bananas, you gotta collect these golden coins. So Funky Kong helps you, Rankly Kong, this, they help you. Rainy Kong helps you in the game, boosts your moves, so, so the Kongs, so Fun Kong improves your moves, Rain Kong gives you items, Cranky just helps and gives you advice, same as usual. Funky Kong kind of helps and boosts your moves, Rainy Kong gives you items, Cranky Kong gives you advice and items, but Rainy, but you actually have to give, um, the golden bananas and the tokens, you gotta give it to, like, Rainy Kong, she kind of helps you with your items, gives you items, and she's, like, all wearing her gymnastic clothes, oh god, Jesus, but you have to give the tokens to her and the silver token to her her and all that stuff something like that and you gotta help her and she helps you in the game pretty much unfortunately this is her last gaming appearance now she'd appear in other games but i hear this is where she died and well you know this is where she died and is not alive anymore she's not around anymore this is where she's dead she doesn't appear in any more games and what's really weird is this is now she doesn't appear in another game again rankly kong well she's dead in other games that's the problem like this is her last gaming appearance alive what do you mean by that well she actually does appearances in later donkey kong games but she's actually dead she's a ghost so this 
this is her last appearance alive. Oh god. God, what, that's kind of sad. That's kind of fucking dark. So this is her last gaming appearance alive, and she later appears as a ghost in later Donkey Kong games, and that's kind of sad. And that's kind of dark, really. The music, and I think the music is alright. I think the music is decent. I'm not impressed with the music in this game. I'm not a big fan of the music in this game. I think the music in this game is just okay in this game. The music is okay. I'm not a big fan of the music in this one. It's kind of weak. I do not prefer it. The worlds are really cool in the game. You have different worlds. They're colorful, unique. Snow, jungle, world, a crystal. I mean, and they look beautiful, by the way, the world. The worlds look great and amazing. The music is really okay in the game. The worlds are really great in the game. They're really beautiful. So the music is actually pretty good in the game. I think the music is just decent in the game. The worlds are beautiful. A jungle snow level, cave level, crystal cave level, um, beaver level, wood, a woods level. It's really great. I love it. The worlds are really unique, and I think they look very beautiful in this game. The jungle And the brother bears. They kind of help you in the game are really cool characters. And the brother bears, they help you give your items, you trade items. These bears are really cool and they help you a lot in the game. The brother bears are really cool rare rare characters. So the brother bears are bears to help you in the game. These bears help you in the game. You, you receive items for them. You get to trade items with them. You, golden bananas, tokens, golden... You can receive and get birds from them. And that's cool to know. And overall, I just think the brother bears are really cool. And overall in the game, I really like... They're my favorite characters. They're really fun in the game. I really do like the brother bears a lot in the game. So the brother bears are really just great characters. They're really, they're really fine. They're really good characters. The worlds are beautiful in the game. The, the worlds look really beautiful in the game. You get crystal cable, jungle level, wooden levels, pirate level, ocean levels, you name it. So, jungle, crystal jungle, mountain, wooden, beaver levels, you name it. And I think the worlds look beautiful. They're really fast. The worlds really really look amazing in this game. I'll give you that. Um, I do like the jungle levels. I do like the snow levels. I do like the wooden levels. I do like pirate levels. I do like the ocean levels. I do like the uh, beaver levels. I do like the mountain levels. I, like, I do like the hill levels. I do like the mountain levels. I do like the hill levels. And I do like the, the world and I do think the worlds look really beautiful in the game. And I just think the worlds look really amazing in the game. I'll give you that. I'll give them that. I mean, that's what I think, and that's all I gotta say. That's my thoughts on that. That's all I gotta say. That's my thoughts on that. So the first boss you fight is called Belcha. He's a giant, talking, evil barrel of a mouth that spits barrel balls at you. Whoa. Like this wooden mouth that chews. He has like this wooden teeth mouth and eats you. See, and he shoots barrels and animals at you. You And he throw the barrels at his mouth. And he shoots barrels out of his mouth. And you gotta throw the barrels at his mouth. And that's kind of how you beat him. You gotta dodge his attacks, make sure you don't get hit. And when he opens his mouth, mouth, you gotta throw barrels at him. Like, you gotta throw this, like, bug at him. Barrel. You gotta jump on the barrel. You gotta get, you gotta get it from the barrel, and, and you gotta throw this ladybug in his mouth. You gotta throw this ladybug in Belcher's mouth. And then Belcher gets defeated and destroyed. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So the next boss you fight, so the second boss you fight is a spider called Eric, and he's this giant spider you fight. He hops, he uh, hits you, and you gotta make sure you don't get hit. Squirts at you, make sure you don't get hit by squirting. He throws barrels at you, you gotta throw his barrels at him. So you gotta, like, jump on top of him and throw the barrels at him, and that's pretty much how you beat him and then Eric gets defeated and destroyed. Third boss you fight is called Squirt and he's like this. I don't know what the hell he is. I don't know what I'm looking at. Some monster that shoots water. So he's like this monster from a behind the wall of a waterfall uh, and honestly I don't know what the hell I'm looking He squirts water at you. Okay. And you play your animal buddy the elephant animal buddy to fight him and you just gotta shoot him. You gotta like throw at him and then he gets defeated and destroyed and then he gets defeated and destroyed Where and then Squirt gets defeated and destroyed and he plays Ellie the elephant to fight him. That's kind of big. You gotta like dodge his task. I guess you gotta shoot at him and shoot his eyes and shoot, well, I don't know, shoot water at him and shoot his eyes, I guess. I don't know. That's how you beat him. I don't know. The fourth boss you fight is a robot called Chaos and he's like this giant weird flowing robot and he shoots fires at you, you saw and you gotta jump on his head to beat him. He has blades. I, I don't know. It's crazy and he shoots lasers at you and then it turns out he actually has a helmet and he has a head underneath his head and his head floats and he shoots laser at you and you gotta jump on his other head. His blades saw it's so weird. And then Chaos gets defeated and destroyed. Is a robot called Chaos. He's a floating robot that shoots fire at you, that shoots floating robot. Has blades, he shoots out boxing gloves. He has like these blades at you. You gotta jump on top of him in his head. And then he shoots, and he shoots laser at you, jump on top of him in his head. And that's kind of how you beat him. Turns out he has a head underneath his head, and his helmet floats. So it's actually his helmet floating. And he, his helmet shoots laser at you. You gotta dodge it. You gotta jump on his blades, hit his other head. It's really weird. You gotta, you gotta jump on the blades and then hit his other head. And that's pretty much how you beat him. And then Chaos gets defeated and destroyed. 
destroyed, and that's pretty much how you beat him, and then Chaos gets defeated and destroyed. So the fifth boss fight, the next boss fight, is a evil snowman called Bleak, and he's like this, and I have to admit, this is the coolest boss ever, it's my favorite boss, and he throws snowballs at you, and all of you is like, it's like a shooting target range, you gotta throw snowballs at him, and, and it's like this, like, light bolt, like, this, like, thing on his chest, this button on his chest, and he throws his button, and then that's kind of how you beat him. He even shoots snowballs out of his hat, that's fucking crazy, like, cannon snowballs, and he shoots snowballs at you, and it's like, you gotta throw snowballs at him. He even shoots snowballs at his hat. Who does that? It's like a target shooting range. You gotta shoot him at the distance. Shoot him it's really cool. I mean, this is my favorite boss battle ever. This is the coolest boss battle in the game. My favorite boss battle in the game. He even shoots snowballs at his hat. Like, who does that? It's like snowball cannons. It's crazy. And it's like a target range. You gotta shoot him at the distance. Shoot him in different angles and close by. Round necklace button. So you gotta shoot at, at this, like, button on his chest. On his scarf. And that's kind of how you beat him. You got snowballs at his scarf. And it's a really weird boss battle. It's a crazy boss battle. It's it's a really weird boss battle. You gotta, you gotta shoot him at distance, different angles. And then you gotta throw the snowballs at his scarf button. You gotta throw the snowballs at his button. And then that's kind of how you beat him. And then Bleak gets defeated and destroyed. So the next boss you fight, so the sixth boss you fight is called Barbos. And he plays your animal buddy, Ingardi the Swordfish. And Ingardi has to fight uh, him. It's like this weird clam monster that spawns spiky enemies with spikes. It, or, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I really don't know. But it's like this this clam monster with spikes on him or he's like this weird like I don't know he's like some kind of like ant fish animal starfish clam I don't know what I'm looking at honestly I really don't know like he I don't know what I'm looking like a weird spike like a clam like some kind of clam with spikes or a spike animal I don't know and you gotta like hit his like middle area hit his clam body part and just hit him and go around his spikes and that's kind of be him but you gotta like hit his middle parts you gotta avoid his spikes you gotta avoid his shooting spikes you gotta like hit him you gotta go around with the spike enemies and he spawn these spike enemies you gotta beat spike enemies and then you get pretty much gotta have to like so you have to hit his eyes bar you get his eyeballs and then and then you gotta go around him you gotta like hit his spikes you gotta dodge his weird spike attacks throwing his spikes at you but you gotta hit his like weird shell body in the middle you gotta hit his like weird muscle skin body in the middle and that's kind of how you beat him and then barbos gets defeated and destroyed so now onto the final boss battle and you have to fight like Chaos the robot again and you got his head, but then it turns out King K. Rule has been controlling him. Oh, sorry, K. Rule Berenstein. And you have to fight K. Rule Berenstein and he shoots electrics and you gotta fight him. And then he gets defeated and destroyed. And then it turns out that Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong is a save. You rescue Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong and then Hell Captain is weird robot bot. I don't know, it's fucking weird. And then it turns out Baron K. Rulenstein has been controlling Chaos the robot the whole time, but really weird boss battle, I know. So the final boss battle is King K. Rule. Rule, you then confront K. Rule Berenstein. Like, half the time, and I mean this literally, like, you have to fight him, and then K. Rule, he, like, floats, he shoots electricals at you, but you gotta dodge it, you gotta, like, throw barrels at him, and that's kind of how you beat him. Then you defeat and destroy K. Rule Berenstein, and then you save and rescue Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, and Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong has been held captive in Chaos the Robot for some reason. So then you fight K. Rule again, and then you have to fight Baron K. Rulenstein again as a second final boss battle. And he floats, and he shoots electricals, and you fight him in his extra ship. He floats, he shoots his electricals at you. You gotta shoot him. He shoots electricals at you. You gotta dodge it. You gotta make sure you don't get hit. He like floats. He hits and punches you. You gotta fly up. You gotta throw the barrels at him. You gotta jump up and hit his attacks. And then you later have to like jump up and then you gotta like hit him. And then K. Rule Baron Sign then gets defeated and destroyed. So also later you get all the golden bananas back. And the island's saved now. And so the game ends. It's like all the Kongs and all the characters celebrate. And they do their own thing or something while the end credits roll. And that was it. And that's all I have to say. The game ends, you see the credits roll. It ends with like all the characters' appearances, all the, all the characters appear, and, and to the animal buddies appear. Photos are taken, like the Kremlin shrub, all the enemies of the game appear. All the bosses appear, K. Rule Berenstein appears. Um, the, your animal buddies appear, the Kongs are there, the, the brother bears, the bears who help you in the appear. So the game ends with credits showing pictures of all, showing uh, all the movements of all the characters, showing pictures of all the characters. You see all the Kongs, you see the animal buddies, the bosses, the enemies of the game, you name it, all the Kremlings. And you even see the brother bears who help you in the game, like bears who help you in the game. And that's kind of interesting, fun, cool to know. And then it just keeps, and then the credits really finally roll. And then the game really ends with, like, just rolling end credits. Finally showing end credits. Well, the game really ends now by showing its rolling credits. K. Rule escapes in, like, this boat, and then you have to fight him again. Then K. Rule escapes, and you have to fight him again. And it's not a body, you just chase him, and then he gets thrown by an egg, and then a giant bird poops an egg at him, and he just, it's, it's 
dumb ending. But that's not all. The game still continues after the end credits. And then after the credits, this, the game still goes on. You then chase K. Rule in a motorboat. And then you chase K. Rule. It doesn't last that long. You ride on a bird. And you have to ride in this magical queen bird. Nice bird that helps you in the game. And you ride on her. And you chase K. Rule in a motorboat. And then I guess the bird helps you by pooping an egg on him. And then I guess K. Rule really gets beat by the bird throwing a giant egg at him by the bird. And the game just ends where they just like on top of him, just hanging out, chilling, and, and the game just ends there, really. That's about it. I mean, what the fuck? And then it also ends where you see, like, Funky Kong, Cranky Kong surfboarding, and Funky Kong motor surfing with Cranky Kong, and he's helping Cranky Kong surfboard. So you see Funky Kong motor surfing with Cranky Kong. I think that's kind of funny and cool. And the game just ends there, I guess. That's the end of the game. It's just, it's just a weird game. Get mixed feelings about it. It's kind of a colluded mess. The game just really ends there. I just think this game's a disaster. I think this game's a mess. Like, the game's finale is a fucking disaster. The game's finale is a fucking mess. It's crazy, and that's all I gotta say. It's just a weird ending. It's a really weird ending, I don't know. So that was Donkey Kong Country 3. And, and, on all, and in all honesty, I think it's just an okay and average game. Really, I think it's just an okay. It's not as fantastic and great as the first two, as the first two games, but, but it is just okay and average still. It's not as great like the original, and it's not as good like the first two, but it's still just a decent enough game that it's just fine. So I give Donkey Kong Country 3 a 6 out of 10. And it is a good game, it's just a mediocre game at best to say the least. So that was Rare Month, and I did own and play the N64 games of it. And I did play only the N64 games of Rare Games, and a few online, that was it, on stream service on the eShop, that was it. And honestly, I did love these games. They hold, I really do love these games. They, hold dear to my heart. they do hold dear to my heart. So guys, I'm Coach Critic, over and out, and peace out, and bye.